Priest. Have another, have another beer. We've been down here since since Halloween, trying to figure out how we can figure out a way, you know, a way to have a party. We've been drinking some of this, some of this here. Burr, 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 right there. <laughs> it, you know something? When you close right down to it, there ain't nothing I like better with my beer than an oiler maker. You know what I'm talking about? A beer oiler maker? That's what I'm talking about. A drop oiler maker. And you know something? It might not get you warmed up, but it's so building a fire in this old. By the way, I never told y'all, but I'm the sheriff of country ham. And somebody told me that there's some illicit activities going on down here at Wolfie's Cyber Lounge. You know what they told me? They said you can get a good drink down here and maybe even a beer oiler maker. So let's see how those things works together, y'all. You pick, 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 pick up your smoothies and everybody take a toast to the 2012 Happy New Year from the Chef of Country Ham and uh, my beer oiler makers. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I just want y'all to know something else. Oh, I'm supposed to arrest somebody down here tonight. They said there might be some cahoots going on with some 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 Zark Zarkawis here. There's some Zarkawi type looking people that's down here, some some Talibans. There's Talibaners down here, you know that that is they're, they're not good people. They're not good people. And they want to build these, these, these assembly buildings around here that they promise us are not the detriment of our society. Although, <laughs> I don't believe in anything that goes out of their mouth. Is, if their mouth is moving, it's, it's kind, of, kind of hard look. You, you, you met this, this guy. And I think they threw him out of his own temple of peace <laughs> for, for inciting, uh, in, inciting terrorism in Abilama. Yeah, but he's, he says he lives in Madison, Wisconsin. I'm not sure where he lives. I mean, I'm not sure he wants anybody to know that they know that he knows where he is. And you talk about things getting confusing. There's a whole lot of stuff that can get confusing like that. But uh, there was uh, another fellow that come down here too that was taking up with him. This is bringing him shipments of this so-called coffee. Try to get him to go hang out with some uh, wench by the name of Mrs. Wilson. <laughs> you know how he's got that a little bit of an overbite there anyway. Mrs. Wilson, well, they slipped up last time because he was so proud of his buddy Vine Wildez coming down from the mountains of Columbia that uh, he, <laughs> he got a little too close to the camera with a good odor right there. And we've been looking for him ever since. We're gonna find him too when we do the Sheriff of Country Hams. Gonna take take him to jail. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take him to jail and you can count on that or I'm not the sheriff of country ham. Matter of fact, it smells to me like somebody's cooking an agent's head right now. What's this? Eggs? Yes, smell like eggs. I love eggs. Eggs, eggs is good for you. You know, I was trying to get me a job working for a company called Crispy Ham. Crispy country hams, but uh, they didn't like my format. I told them, hell, it's been in the truck for 15 years. What do you expect it to look like? <laughs> Carpet? Jeez. You wonder what the 
what in the world a man can do for himself, and you know, I used to plow a garden.